40. This is the East Cleveland Council Agenda Review. I will be running the meeting for the Council President. Uh, Council Clerk, would you call the order? Okay, Councilor Martin, uh, absent. Councilor Thomas, present. Councilor Graham, absent. Council Vice President King, present. And Council President Weaver, present. Okay, we have the minutes to be approved October 13th, October 18th, and October 25th. We're just looking to move those to the agenda, which is following at 6 30. Okay. So hopefully, everyone's looked at them. We can uh, deal with them later. We have any remarks? From the public on agenda items only. Going once. Yeah, we're trying to figure twice. out what what is it that you're you're amending the. Uh, come up to the front, please. Do you want to talk? Oh, this is for you. I'm trying to find out what you're amending the uh, budget for because it's a very vague thing. You should send out to the public, but you didn't send it out. You didn't send emails or nothing. What are you doing here today? No call. You know? Yes. Um, Councilman Martin, come on in. This is the agenda review. I'm running a meeting for Council I'm President. It's so on the other, other side, side of the paper there. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus. Information. Edward Small, Starlight Baptist Church. How'd that go the other day? It went well. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, right. Thank it you. was a thank you both. It was a packed house. You know. So uh, I didn't go to the funeral the next day, though. Did any other guys go? No, we didn't. Wait, wait, the, uh, when did the service conclude that, that night when it was over? After 8 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. It was from 6 to 9. I thought it was six to eight. Uh, I six to nine. Um, I was gonna. Um, I signed my name and I was gonna sign yours, but King said he was. You were coming later. Okay. I didn't do that. Well, you did get a chance to read it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Ordinance 15-16 is an emergency, an ordinance to amend ordinance uh, 02-16, the 2016 permanent budget appropriations and declaring an emergency for the public safety, health, and welfare to fund city operations as required by the Ohio Fiscal Commission, requested by the Director of Finance and sponsored by Council Vice President Brendan Elking. Okay, this is a general review. We have the finance director here. If you this will, is the only thing on this is only ordinance on the agenda tonight. On the agenda review, and then we're gonna, we're gonna move it to the agenda. So if you want to come on up and kind of give us a breakdown of what we're doing here? Um, absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this amendment is is a, a lot of bookkeeping, uh, accounting. What, what happened this year was um, the appropriation that we had allocated for health care was um, $1,500,000 in total. And it looks as though, and this is a projection based on what we've experienced so far and, and what I expect from now until the end of the year, I'm thinking that we're really we're not even going to spend um, a 1.4 million, which which leaves about a hundred thousand uh, dollars in appropriation in health care. And what we're trying to do is to adjust those numbers so that we can take that hundred thousand dollars and use it along with the money that we receive from the sewer district to prepay our workers' comp liability for next year. 
and our police and fire accrued pension liability for next year. We know what both of those amounts are. The workers' comp for next year for the entire year is 149000 Our accrued liability for police and fire pension is, um, I gave you those numbers. 138. 138. Uh, so, so what we are trying to do is to is to readjust all this appropriation so that we can pay these amounts for next year in advance. Um, this whole thing is a part of how we are trying to balance the 2017 budget without the layoffs that we had anticipated at the beginning of this year. At the beginning of this year, um, we didn't know that we were going to, um, you know, come up short on, on expenditures for health care. I mean, it's, it is what it is. We didn't know that we were going to get to $263,000 from the sewage. We didn't know that for sure. Um, so, and, and those are on the positive side. So, um, you know, what we're trying to do now is to look at 2017. And this, you know, paying these two things in advance, in addition to the acceptance of the safer grant for firefighters, the uh, SRO grant for police department, that we can cobble a budget together for 2017 that will prevent us, at least for 2017, from going down in numbers for police. Firefighters. That's the priority is to try to make sure that we don't have to make cuts in that area. But you will see in the, when I present the mayor's estimate that those two departments are 53% of the total general fund budget. Um, so, you know, it was important that we didn't have to make those cuts and that we didn't have to make those cuts to those departments because those would be the only two departments that we would really be able to do. Now, in 2018, we've got another issue. 2018, we are looking at 2700000 So this year, uh, or when I say this year, I'm talking about 2017, the recovery plan called for 768000 in reduction of expenditures. And that was 2017. 2017. Okay. So the way we the way we accomplished the 768,000 without laying anybody off is two police officers will be on the cops the new cops grant. Um, five, well, I'm sorry, three firefighters, three full time firefighters uh, will be on the uh, the new safer grant and 14 part-time firefighters will be on the SAFER grant so that we won't need the overtime and we should be able to get fully staffed up um, in the fire department. We went through this entire year and we had about three or four positions in the police department and we had about five positions in the fire department that were fully funded.